now that we're traveling, we're starting to do a lot of hiking. So we've come up with a few tips or a checklist, you might say, of the things that we check before leaving home while we're doing some hiking. So we're gonna have a total of maybe six on this video. Our second thing on our checklist actually is good hiking boot or shoes because when you're hiking and you're using your normal tennis shoes, you probably won't be able to hike or explore some of the cool stuff that we're getting to explore. So hiking shoes, number two for the win. Number three on our checklist is layers. Layers of clothing. Since we started hiking, we've been mainly doing desert, but I get cold really fast, even if we're under 70, 65 degrees. It's winter for me. So layers is a must. Always carry layers that you can use in the morning when you're hiking early, or layers if you're hiking late and the sun's going down and you need to protect yourself from bad cold wind. Layers. After hiking for six, nine miles, whatever you want to do, also carry snacks. Snacks are the best. As long as you carry your favorite snack, healthy snack, whatever makes you get some energy at the moment, carry that. So, snacks, definitely part of our checklist. Our fifth thing on our checklist for hiking is a first aid kit. And I'm sure if you are an experienced hiker, you know this. It's nice to have something if you're like, nine miles into the hike and you still have nine miles back to the car. That's very important. And lastly, on our checklist for when we go hiking is figuring out where we're gonna hike. And we pick out the hiking trails, but we use the app and you guys probably have heard of it. It's called All Trail. And what we do is we'll go in there and look we'll if the area that we're staying, if they have hiking trails, and we'll save those, and then we'll download the map for the hiking. The only thing that is bad with relying on the app is that on a lot of the hiking that we do, there's a 50-50 chance that you're gonna lose the signal so you can't really rely on the app. So you can either download that hiking trail map or make sure that you do some research and print some of the hiking trail route so you don't depend on that because otherwise you'll be stuck nine miles into your hiking without a service. And if you're if it's not a loop or if you're not going coming back and some of these hiking trails, you kind of lose the hiking trail so if you don't have a map 
you don't have any reference point to keep going. Thank you.